Hello and welcome to the channel. Um, this is my series on my history with uh, gaming and whatnot. Um, this is chapter two, my uh, my video on the PSP. Now, I can't quite remember when I got my first PSP, but I currently have four. One is broken, um, but uh, yeah, I got a bit of a mess here. Um, I originally had, this is the uh, like 101 model, the original model, the big fatty. Um, but unfortunately, uh, around Christmas of 2008, um, the house I was living in got broken into and my PSP got stolen. I then got a replacement for it, I got the God of War. PSP, um, but also all my games also got stolen. Everything that I had for my PSP got stolen. Um, I got God of War. I had Chains of Olympus. I don't remember what the second one was. Um, maybe I have it. Oh, Chains of Olympus there. I have a couple of movies. I love these. I know it's a sidetrack, but I love these uh, GameStop cases. Oh, do I have the other God of War? Oh, I have a Chains of Olympus twice. Really? Yes, I do. Okay, I know there was a second one that was released on the PSP. Uh, could have sworn there were two God of Wars on the PSP, but maybe I was wrong. Um, okay. Wow, that sucks. I got two of the same game. I tend to do that from time to time too as I'm game collecting. As I'll, I think, oh, I don't have this game. And then I go out and say, like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, I already do have it. Um, yeah, I didn't realize I had two copies of Chains of Olympus. Um, but anyways, um, so I had that. And then I went uh, to Alberta, northern Alberta, to try and get some work in the oil fields. And I ended up trading my um, my God of War PSP for the Fat PSP. This one is actually modded, um, but unfortunately, I didn't keep the memory stick that it came with. Um, so I don't know how to even use the mods on that one. This one I got from the local gaming store, mom and pop shop. Yeah, I think the batteries are dead in all of these. Um, this is the either the 2000 or the 3000. Uh, which way? Where's the battery? Yeah, I think this is either 2000 or 3000. I can't quite remember. And the serial number is rubbed off on this silver one. Um, But this one, this one does work, um, which is nice. I think I only paid, I think it was like $75 for it or something like that, or I can't quite remember. And then I got the case for it. Now this one I bought off of eBay. This is another 1,000. Oh no, this is a 3,000. No, 2,000. This is a 2,001. Now, the, the unfortunate thing with this one is that the, uh, the lens is broken inside. So this one will not read UMDs. Um, I would like to get it fixed at some point, but I don't know where to go to have that happen. Um, I've had this case for a long time. I originally had my, my original games stored in this Intech case. And then I got this PSP and then I was like, well, this case will work just fine for it. 
Now in this one, this one I got for a hundred bucks, but this one is also a one thousand in white, but this one's actually a Japanese version. Now I do have some Japanese UMDs um, that are uh, movies and stuff like that, so I can I can watch those on here at least. And then I also bought a couple of um, micro SD to memory stroke memory uh, stick pro duo uh, cards so I can save my games and whatnot. So I have I leave those in here. Um, I don't know if there are Yeah, there is a Pro Stick Duo. I got a four gig in this one. This one came with the four gig, which is nice. But I got sixty-four gig uh, micro SD cards in each of those. I haven't gotten around to actually playing my PSP in quite a while, um, but I also have these cases. These ones are just empty, unfortunately. Um, so I got three of these type of uh, cases. I might have another one kicking around somewhere. And then I've got this style of case. This one I'm almost a little scared to, to stash games in, because um, I don't know how how safe they would be in this case. But with these cases, they just snap in and out. Quite nicely. So the games I have is Chains of Olympus, I've got Prince of Persia, Revelations, Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, Need for Speed Carbon, Sims 2 Castaway, Star Ocean, uh, First Departure, and then Resistance Retribution. It's that one. This one I... Now this is the one, um, one game that I actually managed to keep from my original um, PSP purchase. It's ATV Off-Road Fury Blazing Trails. And then I've got Dead or Alive Paradise, Sims 2, another copy of Chains of Olympus. And then I've got Yeast 1 and 2 Chronicles, which apparently I, I got the uh, limited edition of that pretty cheap when I was in Alberta. And um, apparently it's worth a lot of money now. <laughs> I have the case and I have the CD kicking around somewhere. I have Dead to Rights Reckoning here. And then, um, with my original PSP purchases, I got Superbad and Lords of Dogtown. Because um, when I originally bought my two brand new PSPs, they came with a game and a movie each. Um, Dead to Rights Reckoning. Did I have that twice? Because that was also a game I originally had. Okay, no. No, I don't have it twice. Okay. Okay, now in this third case, I've got... Hakoki. I don't know how you pronounce that, but okay. And then Yigdra Union, Untold Legends uh, The Warrior's Code, Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade, and then I've got Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony, Sid Meier's Pirates, Warhammer Battle for um, Altum Altuma, Atluma, and then I've got um, Warhammer 40k Squad Command. So I've got some decent games. Um, I just wish I didn't have the second copy of Chains of Olympus. I wish I had something else instead of that. I don't know where I put my cases. Uh, okay, I'll have to figure that out. Because I'll have to 
don't know why I have two copies. I'll probably have to get rid of a copy at some point. Um, but yeah, um, my Japanese anime stuff is more adult oriented. It's not really um, YouTube friendly at all. Um, but I've I've got them in a case like this. Um, but yeah, um, I spent a Christmas with family in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba um, around 2006-2007 or something like that. Um, I had my PSP with me and um, I was able to, to download some stuff on there and play some stuff. Now the one thing that I found that kind of sucks um, is I cannot connect any of these PSPs to the internet. Um, I, like I've got 5G internet and stuff like that. I haven't been able to connect any of, the, of my PSPs to the internet for I think I think the last time I was able to connect to the internet was in 2011. So over a decade ago, um, but ever since, like, I've upgraded the, the, I've had upgrades to the internet and stuff like that, new uh, routers and stuff like that, and not being able to, to actually connect them to the internet to do anything with them. Um, I'd love to mod one of these, maybe the broken one. I'm not entirely sure how to do that, um, but the other three still work, which I'm thankful for um, and my Japanese one is still in pretty much mint condition um, the rest of these are definitely in used condition they're all scratched up and the serial numbers are all faded um, but yeah I, I did beat Chains of Olympus on the PSP um, I had Dead to Rights before, um, what else, I had, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and Vice City Stories, which are two games that I still want to get for the PSP, um, I've beaten both of them, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened to my, my copy of, I think I had Liberty City Stories which got stolen and then I replaced it with Vice City Stories and then I think I beat that and I don't know what happened to it um, I'm sure I had other PSP games that may have disappeared on me over the years and then just got lost in the shuffle during the move because um, these are the only games that I, I currently have for it. Um, I think I have another one of these cases, but I think it's also empty. Um, I don't know if I trust it very much. I might be able to stash them like in the middle compartment, but on the on the outer parts, I don't know if I feel comfortable stashing a game there. Because it would just fall right off. There's nothing to actually hold it in place. Um, I, I, I don't really like this case. But these are fantastic. I, I think I do want to try and get one or two more. Start collecting more PSP games at some point. Um, I've never had a chance to really do anything with a modded PSP, even though I have one. But uh, all of the coding for the mod stuff was on the S on the um, Memory Pro Stick Duo, which was then put into my. God of War PSP because um, I did a straight swap which I kind of regret doing now I, I really like that one it was all red and red's my favorite color I, I, I should have just maybe waited and then just bought a 1000 series PSP when I came back home that, that trip to Alberta was a friggin nightmare I might do a story video on that sometime but that was just a nightmare experience um I don't know if there's much else I need to talk about in this video 
Um, I did have fun with the PSP. Um, yeah, I think I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, now these videos are not quite in order, but I think I will in the next video go kind of back to my first ever console that I ever had. Um, I don't have any games for it, but I have the ability to, to play them. Um, but uh, yeah, that will be in a different video. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, have a good one.